Everywhere you look in the Palestinian city of Nablus, you see posters commemorating the martyrs, the young men of the lion's den, a new ad hoc group of Palestinian militants who attack Israeli soldiers and civilians. Dozens of members have been killed or arrested in the past few months. Nablus residents say they idolize them as freedom fighters. As long as the occupation exists, uh, Palestinian you know, uh, young men, and even the kids will, will continue to fight. I mean, we are, uh, we are fighting the occupation in different forms. Like, we exist, and existence is resistance. Uh, you know, we fight the occupation with any form as possible. Like with a stone, with gun, like whatever we can fight with. 2022 saw the worst levels of Israeli-Palestinian violence in more than a decade, with the killing of more than 150 Palestinians and over 25 Israelis. In response to a wave of Palestinian attacks about six months ago, the Israeli army launched a crackdown against gunmen in the West Bank cities of Nablus and Jenin. Today, the army continues its frequent incursions into the Nablus area to arrest militants, raids that often turn into deadly clashes. My brother was killed by a bullet to his head. He was outside his door at the entrance to his house. There were clashes with Israeli soldiers and they shot him in the head. Israel is responsible for raising the tensions. They are occupying us and carrying out raids all the time. Formed in Nablus about six months ago, the Lion's Den is unaffiliated with the more established Palestinian militant groups and opposed to the Palestinian Authority, which it views as collaborating with Israel. Local Palestinians say the difficult economic situation and high unemployment have made these young men desperate and worried that the new far-right Israeli government's policies will increase the hardship and violent confrontations. The resistance of course will increase, yes, because uh, according to uh, the third law of Newton, yes, each action has a reaction, it's normal, it's normal to expect that things will go worse. Israel views the lion's den as a terrorist organization. Israeli military officials say it has been supported and funded by Iran as a militant alternative to the Palestinian Authority. So they wanted to feed and to uh, sponsor a new group that did not hear to the voice of the Palestinian Authority and they can arm them and then can be maybe the next group that will fight against Israel. So they took a people that lost their jobs because of the Palestinian Authority, was very angry about the Palestinian Authority, and so he started to smuggle weapons, especially from Jordan, and Jordan is not so far away from, uh, from Nablus. The new hardline Israeli government has vowed to take an even harsher line against Palestinian militants. The Palestinians here say they will not stop fighting, and many expect the clashes to increase. Linda Gradstein for VOA News, Nablus.